Hello everybody, this is, I'm Seth, from Seth's World, <laughs> and I am playing Firewatch. And I know nothing about this game, except my sister said that it was a lot of fun, and that it, and then my sister said, and my brother said that it was just a little bit creepy, which my brother gets scared at a lot of things, so... There is just absolutely no telling what this might be. Boulder, Colorado. I've never been to Colorado. I see Julia. Nope. I don't see Julia. Oh. From. She's a. You approach her. Uh oh, I'm drunk. Mm. You, you are pretty. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags down a waiter, and one week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Yes. Nailed it. To use objects. Ooh. Definitely get in that. Oh, you date over a year, she drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. That sounds so good. You move in, you share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains, you two drink beers out on the deck, you drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. I mean, of course he drinks beer everywhere. He was drunk when they met. Julia wants to get a dog. Oh, no. There's a scruffy undersized beagle Julia's in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's bad, eh? <laughs> Hmm, definitely German Shepherd, named Mayhem. That's a good, always a good sign. And the parking goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, child, pet, all rolled into one. Aw, oh, that's so sweet. 1979, you talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Oh boy, this is getting very, very, very serious. Kids, they're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple, uh, a couple little idiots. That's so sad. Hmm. I think that would be pretty good. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. Absolutely right. Definitely. <laughs> Where is Julia? Kind of, kind of starting to think that Julia's fake. Cause I haven't seen any Julia anywhere. Can I jump? Don't think jumping is a, something I can do. Can I get back in the truck? <clears throat> Door four trail ahead. Oh boy. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Do not forget to check in. You're in their country, bears. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. I feel like I should be able to jump. 1980, it's a Thursday night and Julia's four hours late. Uh oh, she doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. I bet she didn't take mayhem with her. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You get mad. Definitely get mad. You call her an inconsiderate a-hole. She tells you to F off. <laughs> or F yourself and to be, not be such a baby. You call her so selfish. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. Oh, I don't know what this guy's name is. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. Aw, oh, so sweet. 
You pose and flex like He-Man. You frolic like Victoria's Secret model, definitely. That is definitely what I would do. Julia's right. You are very pretty. Wait, am I Julia? No, 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 no. I'm not Julia. <laughs> she was just... You know, I get it. This is beautiful. OMG. Ooh. Ah, the Benja. Ooh, it's a bit of cocoa. Lion King. Ooh. I feel like I'm gonna need to jump. Oh, wait. Whoosh. Ooh. Birds. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy a walking mayhem at night. Mayhem. There's a festival in town that brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Oh no! Mayhem runs away. May me moo f diddy dog. Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. You scare him away. You beat. Yeah, I think I beat his face in. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. You ask uh, Julia to ask to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay, you don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. That's a nice... Walking by the river is nice. 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Wow, that's... Impressive. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. She should take the job. That would be nice. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard. Connecticut's really nice. I've only been there once, but I love Connecticut. Uh, definitely agree. Juliet, 1985. Man, the years are just flying by. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. Uh oh. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She found crying in the stairway. Uh -oh. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. Maybe well, you should really talk about it. Talking is always good. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early. Onset dementia. She is 41. That is very sad. Very, very sad. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Secrets are fun, I suppose. Pick that up. Ugh. Is that me? Mayhem is getting older. He's got silver hair down his back and slows down at night. You and Julia walk him to the bar to see your friends and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to the university. Very, very sweet. 1987. This is kind of reminding me of like... What's that movie? With the balloons and the dog and the, the old people. It's Pixar. <laughs> she is sent home on permanent medical leave. If you guys know what movie I'm talking about, let me know, because I can't remember. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. Have we had children? I don't think we've had children yet. She pulls you into bed to make mm, love. After five minutes, she goes into panic, believing her dad is at the door. Oh, no. You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the segments between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else. Somewhere with 24-hour care. A home that sits with you for a couple months. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility. You determine to take care of her by yourself. That's, I think that's the best route to go there. This is so pretty. I love the leaves and the colors. Can I climb over this? Nope. 
Ooh, look at the flowers. I want to go frolicking. Mm. I don't think that's a way. <laughs> this is so exciting. To be honest, this is kind of putting me in the mood for a nap. The colors are so, like, calming, and the music is so sweet. And it seems, it feels very warm to me. Very, very warm. Ooh, what's that? Is that a bear? It's not a bear. It's a deer. OMG. Oh, OMG, it's so big. No, wait, it's an elk. Oh my goodness. Come back. It's impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. It's always hard. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter. Drinking then, too. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. You put a chair in front of the bedroom door. You dress that she sleeps like a rock. Put a chair in front of the bedroom door. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. Man. 1989. Oh, no. You one night are stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a 10 and are taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Oh, no. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming, and you see an ad in the paper for a job. <clears throat> take the job. Definitely take the job. You take it. Yes. That is what I like to hear. Make some money. Oh my goodness. Into the lookout tower. There's something glowing up there. What is that? I wish I could run. Running is always good. Makes you feel better about things, and this guy seems like he's awfully depressed. Ooh, an outhouse. Definitely gonna be using that later. Mountains. What is that? No wait, that's my. Sh that's the shadow. Oops. <clears throat> Wow, I got up here all kind of fast for not running. Open the door. Turn on the power. Who's telling me what to do? Who is that? Wait, I switched it. And this doesn't seem to be wanting to come on. Oh no. Pick up radio. Yes. Hello, Roger, Roger, Roger. Anybody there? Okay, nope. I want to turn on these lights really bad and they're not turning on and I don't know why and uh, the magical words aren't saying oh wait generator there it is nailed it hello two forks tower hello reply definitely I want to reply hold left shift hello did I reply? Oh, uh. Oh, there we go. Ugh. Yes. Hello? Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. How do you know my name? I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. What guy? So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? Mm, nothing. What's wrong with you? People take this job to get away from something. So what's wrong? I don't know. You're being kind of nosy. You? Yeah. That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine. Then can I like, sleep forever? Paradise. Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Mm, I don't want to talk to her anymore. She's way too nosy. Uh, that's well. Nobody back home can stand you because you're too nosy. 
Okay, you're probably out here because nobody back home can stand you. Yeah. Which, after this brief introduction, is not a big shock. Yeah. Ouch! Uh, I'll chalk that up to you being tired and grumpy. Well, I'd better get some sleep then. One sec. Now it's my turn. No, I think I'm gonna go to bed. Bye. Let's see. I don't, I don't wanna go to bed. About you, but nine times out of ten, <laughs> folks out here simply got dumped. Rude. Huh, you haven't even good. seen me. I am Close. one hot babe. Good night. <laughs> good night. Welcome to the job. I don't just get dumped. 